Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Shy, Shy vs. A-Bite Podcast, episode 160. You already know, man, Voice of Detroit. Ain't no uh, podcast like mine. <laughs> but we got a special guest in the building. We got, uh, we gonna start with the most important thing. You a mom, you know what I'm saying? Mother, uh, hairstylist, cheerleader, cheerleader coach, queen of Ipsy. We got King Yala Rashawn on the What's building. What's the deal? And they go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they start screaming. How you feel? My my, uh, my producer thought you was a shanty when you sat down in the gym. That's like, facts. You know, yeah. I get that all the time. And I can appreciate that. Yeah, that's yeah. A good, that's a good person to look like. For sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You don't want to look like a bone queef or nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. You wanna look, that's a good person to look like. Or yes, whatever. Sir. But uh, before we get into anything, we start off every episode with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers instead of telling him or her. How we really feel about them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it can't be a normal answer. Like, you got a kid. It can't be a kid. No relationships and no parents. Got to be somebody out of that, you know what I'm saying, easy answer. No relationship, no parents. Yep. Okay. No kid either. No kid. Uh, My twin brother. Mm-hmm. Solid support system. Between okay. him and my uh my first cousin, uh Bert, mm-hmm. they really hold me down. They For see sure. me as who I am. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to... Bug them or you know reflect on them like yo I gotta do this this and this as mm-hmm. an artist you know what I'm saying they with it okay. whatever you need we got For you sure. they Hell know yeah. what the the uh the 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 full picture looks like mm-hmm. so okay salute to them oh, so you got a twin I got a twin That's what's up how how was that growing up like having a twin like what, what was that like especially a twin boy and girl right twin boy so. Weird because the nigga didn't like me for a mm-hmm. long time. For sure, <laughs> the nigga, we was not cool growing up. It wasn't until we was adults to where we realized, like, yeah, nigga, I'm grown, you yeah. grown. Yeah. But growing up, man, I, it was like, um, like we were very popular kids. We was cool kids around, but you know, uh, I'm a girl, so mm-hmm. there was some times where I was promiscuous or mm-hmm. you know started liking boys and shit. And he was not with it. Yeah, it was, for sure. It was. I should bad. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. real bad. <laughs> how hard was it though? Like, with injury, like, all right, my brother right here, I'm about to come over. Like, how 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 hard was it? So the area we we live in, um, it was a small city. Like everything was like right around. So all the people we all knew each other. Yeah, for sure. He definitely didn't want none of his homeboys talking to his sister. Yeah. You know, he was ready to fight me and yeah. them. <laughs> for sure. He I just said, yep. pissed. You know yep. what I'm saying? So. That was never cool. It was like, why are you talking to my sister? Why why are you talking to that nigga type shit? Yeah. And uh, me, I was a rebellious one. Like, nigga, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, which one of his friends you did talk to on the low? Oh, God. <laughs> I know it was one. Like, ah! uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no comment. <laughs> they know. If you know, you know. No, for sure, for sure. Now, we start everything off, like I said, most important thing, you a mom. Yeah. Hi, hi, um... How has it been a mom and how have motherhood changed you for, you know, for the better? Ooh. I'm quite sure it wasn't for the worst. Nah, I've been in these streets. <laughs> this, <laughs> this motherhood for the past two years. Okay. Three if you count pregnancy. But it's been really, really cool. Like, my son is a full-blown motivation for me. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be hard. I never wanted to be a mom. For sure. Like, I was just like, nah, fuck that. Yeah. I, mean, I, got, I got shit to do. Yeah. I was always scared of the process. Like, actually... Yeah, I can, the baby I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so when it actually happened, and I had my son at home, like okay. I went through a, a midwife process, and I didn't go to the hospital one mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Um. So that alone, like, set me apart. Like, I really was like, you know what, bitch, you could do this. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. What made you want to do it like that though? Like, was it somebody who like kind of like you know put you on game with it, or just something you had researched? Like, what made you want to do it like that? Yo, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I started doing mad research. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was, like, Instagram pages that'll reflect on, like, how the hospital is not built for black women okay. to give birth. Mm-hmm. And um, once, I, once I seen that, mm-hmm. COVID was going on. Oh, yeah. I had a homegirl tell me she had her baby by herself with a mask on. Damn. I was yeah. like, oh, it got to be another Yeah, for sure. It yeah. got to be. <laughs> for sure, I yeah. I ain't no, doing it no. like that. Yeah, because we had yeah. kids doing COVID. And, like, you can't have nobody, no visitors, nothing. No visitors. Yo, yeah, they was, she said that her uh, her child's father couldn't be in there. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't imagine. I'm giving birth with these bitches, uh, yeah. nurses and shit. I don't even know y'all. For sure, like, There's for no sure. comfort. Yeah. But I was able to find a midwife. The midwife put me on game on, like, the history 
have given birth at home. So, like, mm-hmm. she made it mad comfy. And um, people was very, everybody doubted me. Like, mm-hmm. why would you do that? I was the first person in, like, both of our families that went down this type of route. Okay. And it was perfect. It was beautiful. Okay. Now, you gave so me some, some pros. What was, what was some cons, though, about, about giving birth at home and stuff like that? Are, are there any cons to it? I wouldn't say there were any cons. Okay. Everything was positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to go from the water to my bed. Okay. I didn't have to be wheeled into yeah, the, you know, yeah. out down the hall to the crib. None of that shit. It was yeah, great. For sure. It was great. Now, what you was like sitting out, you had a little pool inside the yes. little living room. Was there. <laughs> yes. And you could go to YouTube and see like a portion of my process. I did give like a, a little quick recap on giving birth at home, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I had a pool. The pool was nice and warm and yeah. Soon as uh, before my midwife even got there, only women know this. I dilated at eight. Like okay. I wasn't, I was ready. Oh yeah, you was ready. Yeah, you was ready. Right. That boy was crowning. Yeah, I, yeah, was I there. knew my little. I knew my little. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was right there. Shit. But I did all that shit by myself, and I got a low tolerance for pain. But I, I went through that shit. Yeah, like a G. Ooh, yeah, yeah. third life, third life. Tell hey man, when you have your kid, you got you know what I'm saying? Have her do it in the pool, dog. Yeah, <laughs> baby on the way. Yeah, like oh shit, that would be scary. It was scary though. I can only imagine though. But mm-hmm. hey, that's what's up. That's so now being a mom and being in this music game, do you ever feel like sometimes music can take you away from the time that you want, need to spend with your son or you don't let it get to that point? It is. Okay. I know it will. The okay. next level that is uh that's guaranteed for me, mm-hmm. I know that there's gonna be a a, a nice divide, a okay. cool little separation. But every day, anytime I leave, I gotta go do something that's for Kenyatta and Shine, I tell my little nigga like, hey. Your yeah. mom is different. For sure. Okay? I'm yeah. doing this for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. And, I, and I know he understands now because he'll be like, mm, all right, bye-bye. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Facts. Now, now last thing I'm going to ask you about motherhood is like, what's the what's the one thing that surprised you that you like wasn't ready for, like being a mom? Like, you're a young mom, whatever, but what was something that surprised you or like you wasn't even ready for? The growing part, like mm-hmm. getting so attached. Yeah. I knew like, you know, I've had pets and I um, recently just lost a dog that I had for like 13 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was my attachment. But no, like sure. this little person, I'm looking like you can do no wrong. Yeah, hell like, yeah. I just love you so much. So the attachment part, I wasn't, I didn't expect. Mm-hmm. And um, even now, like as he has his little growing pains, I'm just like, yeah, no, but I sure. love you. Yeah, yeah, hell <laughs> he yeah. He's going to get ass whooping soon enough, for yeah, sure. No, but... no, you got to get it early. Get him early. Yeah, get you know him early. Saying? Get him early so you ain't got to get him late. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be, my, my daughter too, I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, you got two year old too? Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo, yeah. Gentle Lord. parenting. Yeah, for sure. But I'll be like, hey, come here. Stop it. Right. <laughs> like, she don't know what I'm talking about. Like, hey, sit down. <laughs> She's like, what, man? Give me some snacks. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you talking about. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, it's, you know, we in the midway of the year 2023. This year going by fast. It did. How has this shit been going for you so far? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know you was on tour or whatever. We're going to get into that. Yeah. But like, what's been some, some, um, some ups and downs of the year so far? Woo! It's moving so fast mm-hmm. and ha- trying to balance out all the things that I have to do. Mm-hmm. Like in December 2022, I opened up for Music Soul Child at the uh, Motor City Soundboard, and that just like kicked everything off. For from sure. There. Hell yeah. And um, like it being May mm-hmm. and all that I got accomplished in that little bit of time, mm-hmm. I'm like so surprised I was able to do it. Yeah, hell yeah, doing big things. Now, mm-hmm. I opened up for music. How was that? Because, you know, we grew up, you know what I'm saying, loving music, whatever, though. That probably was, was one of the songs I played on the, um, you know, on the phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What's that? What's that? Love? The little all sidebar, y'all. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But how was it like, did you get, to, you know what I'm saying, ask him some questions? Like, how was it, you know, open up for him? You know, I didn't get a chance to kick it with music, mm-hmm. but his band, they were like gravitating towards me. Mm-hmm. They had, uh, was able to watch my show. I was able to kick it with them beforehand. Music, he was on like a little back-to-back day thing, so he was real tired, they were saying. Mm-hmm. So, um, got to kick it with the band and got to kick it with like, um, some of the the scouts and the people that put this stuff together at Motor City Soundboard, yeah. they really appreciated my show. They appreciated my artistry, mm. and um, that created other opportunities for myself. No, for sure. Are you ever nervous, like when you when you meet people that you might look up to, because you be like, damn, I hope they don't be an asshole. Yeah. Because sometimes you meet the people like, damn, I already messed with him, but then or her, you then you meet them like, oh fuck, I wish I never even met this person. Ah! Like, have you ever had that happen to you so far? You know what? Um, I'll say this. I was just recently at the Strength of a Woman Festival mm-hmm. um, in Atlanta. Mary J. Blige put that together. Mm-hmm. And um, everybody's just moving about. They're not really in a position to sit down and have like a 
real conversation with you. Everybody on the same shit. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always like, t- I'm taking it back because I'm like, damn, I'm not that type of person. Like, I want to have a minute with you. For to, sure, yeah. You yeah. know, converse, tell you about myself and see, you know what I'm saying, how we can network and that was, it's always just weird being mm. in them environments where mm. it's not really like a time to just... Yeah, to kick it, yeah. Kick it, yeah. Yeah, for sure, hell yeah. Because that got to be a worse thing, like, meeting one of your idols or somebody and they just be, like, rude to you, like, God damn it. Right, like, another one. I'm yeah. not another one, yeah. I swear. <laughs> I, really, I really rock with you. I really rock with you, for real. Long yeah. Way. Hell yeah. Now, with this year, like, did you have any goals in mind, like, that you set for yourself that you wanted to accomplish, you know, going to the new year? Um, being busy and doing this tour. Okay. So I was, uh, uh, Nick Lavelle, who is a super dope R&B artist Mm -hmm. from Detroit and now by way of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um, the Michigan, the Michigan Music College Tour that he put together, I was just like, yo, I really want to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I really feel like that'd be a great opportunity for me to connect and build more um fam yeah well you you was the only r&b actor on the show right yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so how was that like being like was it tough like to rock the crowd after you got all these rap niggas on here you know what i'm saying <laughs> and you come in you know what i'm saying with your singing going on like was it was that tough i, I thought it was going to be but it wasn't mm-hmm. i came on like a breath of fresh air like you know what i'm saying everybody is rapping there were other artists who you know that i was opening up for like all the major artists so to them it was just like Ooh. Yeah, we got you on. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. from there, like, I still communicate with some of the students. Okay, for sure. That's mm-hmm. dope. That's dope. Was it, was it how, how how did the tour change you? Like, did you make it, make you look at anything? I know you've been doing stuff prior to that, but, like, did, yeah. you, did it open your eyes up to anything new? Yeah. Don't be afraid to kick it. Yeah. A lot of the artists, you know, it's kind of like me being a female. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, I don't know if my approach, because, one, I'm already, like, dressed up fine looking good mm. so when i try to communicate or anything i don't want to be instantly look at like oh yeah she's trying to fuck yeah, oh, yeah, yeah for sure to, you know what i'm saying i am too type yeah. shit. and i'm yeah, like for sure. no, we, no, great mom thing alike huh? yeah i'm over here like what's a feature price but yeah, did you check but, out my set can yeah. we you know work and that was like a, old, a thing in itself because i'm like i'm not about to go talk to that nigga because he just yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Look at me. It's, this ain't a good time. Let me catch that nigga in the morning on the mm-hmm. way back to yeah. DC type shit. But mm-hmm. it was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I got to create that um, first impression mm-hmm. as best as I can for sure. without them looking at it like I'm one of these groupie hoes. Yeah, shit, no, for you know? sure. Hell yeah. But that's fucked though that you got to think like that. Like you making it, you, you approaching somebody, you got to think like, damn, they probably going to, you know, think this or think that. This is like you know what everyday saying? life. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> like we were talking about, nigga, I just want to We were talking about that, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that with my cousin, like him, like you can't even like say too many things to, you know, to, to a young lady because she thinking some, some, something already. Like yeah, I yeah. just made a comment on how good the pizza was. How you think I want to hit? Like. Ah! I actually want to eat the pizza, like, yeah. But, like, yeah, but yeah, that's a long story. But, <laughs> but yeah. I'm, a, I'm a well, like in them environments, like the after parties and shit like that. Like, I'm on the stage, right? But of course, they like bring them hoes up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> get for them, sure. get them naked hoes over there and bring them up here. Yeah. I'm up there too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. they're not looking at it like. They, you know it's the the beer goggles and all that shit they can't see like oh yeah that's king out shine she a singer you yeah. know what i'm saying we should definitely tap in with her get her on a track for sure shit. they like oh yeah that's one of the another yeah, one yeah, you know? no, yeah another one of those yeah, yeah, so. yeah but no i ain't even like that huh? yeah exactly now um do it make it hard to work with guys like cause i can only imagine you being an attractive young lady you trying to work with these guys and they may they might use the music as a way like all right bet i'm gonna use this music to try to get up on like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying how tough is that you know what I'm saying to go ahead and navigate through like finding the real people who really want to work and the ones who would just want to smash mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying it used to be weird in the past now like i come so professional and probably bring like somebody that hey i got a home girl she with the shit yeah, 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 it ain't yeah, me yeah, but me. Yeah. you know what i'm saying we'll figure that out but i remember more so in the past Cause that's when I was like in a real like serious relationship. Mm-hmm. Niggas didn't care. Yeah, like, no, for that sure. was, at all. Yeah, Hell at no. all. And that's when I was just like more like if somebody approached me the wrong type of way, mm-hmm. I cut them off completely. Cause mm-hmm. I don't want to have that drama at the crib type no, shit. No, for sure. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Hell I don't yeah. care who you are. Yeah, yeah. At this point, we can't work because you were unprofessional. Mm-hmm. No. So yeah, that's. Now yeah, yeah, you was in love. I saw a lot of pictures and stuff like that. Whatever, like. You know what I'm saying? How, like, was it was it tough to, like, <laughs> your, your little life and, like, your, your professional life? Like, is that hard to yeah. go ahead? You know, because as a dude, you got you to gotta have some confidence within yourself because 
you around all these other dudes every day, you know what I'm saying, working and stuff, if it's in the studio, yeah. if it's doing shows, like, like how was that relationship? Like, you know what I'm saying, did y'all bump heads? I don't want to ask no, you know, personal question, but was we it... We outside, we already hearing it. Yeah, was, it <laughs> was it due to the music or was it due to his life? It was due to our just lifestyle differences at okay. this point, but, yeah. uh, you know, in the past, like, in the process, mm. it was like touch and go. Like, I couldn't really say mm. that... I knew that the things that I wanted to accomplish were not aligned with the things that he wanted to accomplish mm -hmm. as far as life go. And then me being in these environments, bunch of niggas, uh, you know, kind of like my, I got to take certain kind of pictures. Mm -hmm. I got to do certain kind of things. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, it's yeah. part of my artistry. But I knew that that was like yeah. a problem. Yeah, that'd be hard. Unspoken problem. No, but then sure. because it's unspoken, now it's like an unspoken issue. Yeah, a build up. Yeah. yeah just a sure. lot of resentment type shit. And, yeah. um, you know, in the end, now we are co-parenting and mm -hmm. we just make it work. Yeah, I'm about to say, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no beef enough that y'all are able to go ahead and, and exist and do your thing. Coexist. That's, yeah. that's been my priority. Sure. But yeah. yeah, now we in a coexisting phase because like, I'm not your bitch. Yeah, for you sure. Know, my yeah. nigga, so we don't have to be like, uh, I don't yeah. know what you're doing, and I, I can't, I'm not comfortable with this and that. Like, no, I'm, yeah, no, for sure. That definitely yeah. be tough on a dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I'll be like, God damn, she with these niggas. <laughs> exactly. Damn, saw the baby in that one. <laughs> right. But I always, I always sat back and been like, okay, like, if he was a rapper, how would I feel? Yeah, or for what, sure. What would I be doing? Because I know as a male rapper, it's kind of like probably two times more different than yeah. me being a, a no, for sure. singer, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, a man knows what a, another man is thinking. Mm -hmm. So they could be like, I know that nigga want to fuck my girl. No, I know sure. that nigga you know, like my girl. Yeah, yeah. They gonna, <laughs> we going to know things that y'all might not, not not peep or know. You know and what I'm saying? I, like, I am an airhead. I'd be like, what? Like, are you, I like, you don't see this nigga got? Like, all right. No, all right. he yeah. don't like me. Like, no, he like you and he want to hit. <laughs> I'm like, no, he don't. Man, yeah, that's funny as hell. That's funny. <laughs> now, do you see yourself like right now pursuing, you know what I'm saying, with your, your music career? Like, do you see yourself getting into another relationship or you want to just take your time, focus on your kid and your music? Facts. Taking my time, focus on my kid and music. I am not interested in being in a relationship for yeah. a while. Mm -hmm. And I know there there might be somebody out there like, oh yeah, I'm about to get her. Like, no. Nah. Yeah, you if you're listening, there. don't waste your time. Damn, Craig. <laughs> it's all bad for you, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you if you out there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you want to kick it, go on like dates, take me out, that type of shit, that's cool. But yeah. I am not Keep this in your mind. I'm not looking for a relationship. Hey, right you never know. You might change your, you know what I'm saying? Change your heart. Like, you know what? I already messed with Deontay. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he the truth. He for real. I need, you know I need some time. I need to be king out of Rashawn right now. No, for sure. You got to. You got to focus yes. on yourself first. You know what I'm saying? You come first. Because if you ain't happy, shit, ain't nobody happy. That's facts. And I'm pretty, I'm happy. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. We all mm -hmm. happy over here. You know what I'm saying? We struggling, but we happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm struggling, but I'm happy. <laughs> but uh, what's some things that you learned about yourself this year? Like, you know what I'm saying? You may, you know, Something you need to change, something you know you was capable of doing. Like, what's something that you learned about yourself that you were surprised? Ooh, okay. I could say that I'm a lot more easygoing. Mm -hmm. And I never, I always felt like um, I've been told that I got like a control issue when it comes down to trying to balance out different things. So I learned mm -hmm. to delegate. Okay. I learned to be like, here, you take this on, you take that on, and then not have too high expectations, but to know that they're going to be able to take care of it or handle it. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that I am a great leader mm -hmm. and that I created a good team that will be able to support me in the uh, ways that I need to. Mm -hmm. um, also learned that uh, everybody's not your motherfucking friend. Oh, no, that's a fact. Hell yeah. Hell no, yeah. no for I've sure. had people that have been in my life for like dumb long and as things started to change and progress yeah. I had to cut them niggas yeah that should be that'd be tough but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do yeah you do and I knew for a fact that like cause uh throughout the process I just kept seeing and hearing like everybody's not gonna make it everybody's mm -hmm. not gonna make it to that next step no, that you are going all. to and then too like you gotta cut the dead weight in order for you to be able to be progressive for sure Hell so yeah. that 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 came in handy this year and it, you know especially too after having a kid things are people are different yep. Yep. you different like you know what i'm saying good or bad you different like the whole thing yeah. about you is different you ain't that same person no more either so facts you know that's what i'm saying facts. they look like oh look at king Yada doing her thing you know what i'm saying still like, oh my god i'm telling you, you know niggas is like they just thought i was gonna fall off a few for sure. months back yeah, no yeah. she is still moving no it, for it, sure it surprises me yeah i ain't gonna lie yeah man hell yeah man so yeah you know salute to those ones we had to leave behind 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We still, love, we still love you. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I forgive you. What's some stuff that you still need to, you know, some things you still need to work on within yourself that you might need to change up that you procrastinating on? Mm, I want to start adding more dance to my shows. Okay. I do some, but I be so focused on singing. I'm like, let me get back to being like the full package when it comes to entertaining yeah. Yeah, the yeah. crowd. Um, I definitely want to also get more of my music videos done. Mm -hmm. I've been procrastinating with that because I have like a certain vision for it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not going to be there, then I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Now, when you're saying that, uh, sometimes can you be in your way as far as like moving on or or, or doing things like you saying you want to do this, you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Or some, sometimes are you in your own way as far as like maybe how something should look or whatever? Like do things got to be perfect for you to move on with, that pro with the process? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Even when it's like a possibility of something messing with that, I'd be like, shit, I'd just rather not even do it. Mm -hmm. Only only thing that I'd be like fucking on is like when I'm taking risk on, like I'll say I took some different risk with the tour. Mm -hmm. I took some different risk. Like when I go out of town, like I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to walk in this backstage and we'll see what happened. Who yeah. there? You know what yeah. I'm saying? For sure. But as far as like my artistry go, I'd be like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's make it make sense no, before sure. I just jump off. Yeah, yeah, into yeah. That, yeah. You, you know? gotta look right. You gotta look right. Yeah. So when you know when times get hard, who can you talk to? When you fucked up and shit, things ain't going. You know, saying the way you want it to be. You know, saying who can you talk to during those hard times? That's gonna get that's gonna get you together. Mm. If you got anybody. Damn, she ain't got nobody, y'all. No, <laughs> no. I really just be talking to myself and God. Okay, okay. I try okay. to, and I, I learned that too. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to stop telling everybody my business. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Man, Hell I, yeah. I used to be a very open person where we can talk about whatever the fuck I got going on, whatever you got going on. Mm -hmm. But then I started realizing that those people were using that against me. Mm -hmm. No, and, for sure. And also sharing that 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 uh, vulnerable moment with mm -hmm. others. Hell yeah. So it to was the wrong like, person, some, some, some deep shit. No, nah, for real. Yeah. And then I'm, I don't want to fight no more. Like, I used to be like a real, like, oh, I'm in your face confrontational type yeah. person. Now I'm just like, nah, you can have that. Yeah, for sure. But if somebody do that to me, I feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you that I don't I don't play that type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, switch up real I've quick. changed. Yeah. I don't want to do that shit no more. So, huh, so you, be in the, you, you used to be about that life back in the day? My God. And now everybody don't know that either. Mm -hmm. Only only a nice handful of people know like I'm really like a little Layla Ali. Yeah. When last, I, when last time you got to like a serious, you know what I'm saying, confrontation with somebody? Ooh. You know, I was I didn't fight, but I was pregnant. I had just found out I was pregnant. Okay. We went to the strip club for my at the time boyfriend event, mm -hmm. and I had just got him some food. He was eating his food. Mm -hmm. Some random girl came up and grabbed a fry out of the box, <laughs> bro. Right in your face. Right in my face. I'm in the booth. He's standing in front of the booth, mm -hmm. and this bitch grabbed the fry, started eating it, looked at him. Yeah. What I do? Took my fries and just started throwing them at him. Man, going crazy. Love the fry. Fire. Yeah, the fries <laughs> that I had. I'm like, bitch, you was a bird. Yeah. Like, what's out of here? <laughs> Oh, and they shit. was like, nobody else knew except for him that I was pregnant. So he like, no. Yeah, chill out. Hell yeah. Stop. For sure. It's still early in the game. I was with a bunch of niggas, but if one of my homegirls was there, she would have been through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all would got down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she put her hand on that fry. I was like, yeah. That was I said, off. what the fuck? Man, that's funny as hell. <laughs> and speaking of, because I said that's some love of hip-hop shit. Would you ever do some shit like that? Like, just... Reality? Yeah. I would. Okay. Because a lot of people don't be knowing, like, it's, like I said, it's like a handful of people that know, like, about me for real, for real. Mm -hmm. And, like, who I am. Like, I'm mm -hmm. like a, a wild card. You never know what the fuck you're going to expect sure, when you yeah. come down to a lot of shit. Yeah. But even with being a wild card, like, I'm very smart and logical mm -hmm. like i can fight you with my brain and you'll be fucked up yeah for sure Hell yeah. yeah you Hell know yeah. what i'm saying yeah you can't be in these streets we get too old now you can't be fighting no Facts. fighting no yeah. fighting and, and niggas don't know how to fight anyway like, <laughs> they don't they, they they be ready to kill you if they lose like yeah. so you gotta be worried about the win like damn i won but this nigga gonna come back like right you know what I'm saying? ain't so, no yeah. telling that nigga sick that nigga is mm -hmm. fucked up oh yeah T give me about give me your first adult decision you made you know what I'm saying? Like, like damn, I'm, I'm really out here. Like, I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I'm really making moves. I low key just felt like that the other day. Like, uh, because in my process, I've definitely always relied on my mom. Mm -hmm. So I stayed with her for a while. Like, okay. I don't want to step out in the streets hell yet. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, I still had that cloak of protection. Mm -hmm. And um, now I'm like, nigga, I'm grown. I'm a kid. <laughs> for sure. I'm paying all my own bills type yep. stuff. Like, Got that to. reflection just recently hit me. I was yeah. just like, wow. 
Yeah, gotta be, yeah. When, when you gotta be living real life, you be thinking back to those times when you was younger. Like, why the fuck was I praying to be a, be an old person? I, oh God, like, damn! Like, I just want to be a kid again. Fourteen, yeah. take me back, man. That, ooh, I be ready I, to cry all the time. Like, you wake up on Friday, get paid. <laughs> like, I can't do shit with this check, but pay bills and pay bills. <laughs> grocery stores kicking my ass. Like, yeah. damn, you and that mother budget. Like, you looking at shit, putting back down. Like, I don't even need this. Yeah, like I'm gonna get the real. I'm gonna get oh, bread. Let me get some water. <laughs> Survival kid. Yeah, for real. Survival <laughs> kid. You that mud cussing your kids out because they want too much. You're like, that nigga, put it down. <laughs> That's it. Life be life like a mud, Life boy. do be life in. My goal is I don't want to be in a position where I'm just working a, a job for mm-hmm. like the rest of my life. I don't want to do that. Definitely not. I think with the whole COVID thing, I think that helped a lot of people and opened a lot of people's eyes Like as far as like, man, fuck that. I can do this shit by myself. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Cause Facts. You, you know, because nowadays you can't even... It ain't like how it used to be when like grandparents retire. You get this fat pension. You get to live life... Nah, you just gotta, you know, she definitely gotta work your whole life just to make money. That's for real. You know what I'm saying? Because that retirement money ain't gonna really do nothing for you, and you know, so it ain't like how it used to be. You know what? If we were smarter, we would have to, we would dig into like this white wealth. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm starting to learn more about yeah, is yeah, white yeah. wealth and business wealth and how they do their shit because we weren't privileged to the knowledge of a lot of shit. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like people taking their um, what is it? When you pass away, your life insurance. Yeah, and they. Pocketing that money mm-hmm. and turning that into a whole nother investment, for sure. And you know what I'm saying? It's just the white way. We just got to tap. Yeah, in. we just got to get. Up. Yeah. But think about it, like when I, I don't want to say, it, but sometimes when we do know some some stuff that can put people on game, we don't do it. Yeah, gatekeeping. We, yeah, we keep it. To I ourselves. don't like that. You know I've always saying? been like, we have to lose that crabs in a bucket mentality. But mm-hmm. if you think back to slavery days, if a nigga was able to get free. Half of them niggas went by, like, let me go get my family. Let me yeah, go get my girl. Let me go sure. get... They was like, oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nigga, I'm free. Y'all figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that sure, shit later. But sure. that slave mentality, too, that's, you know, it's yeah. years and Because years. the thing is, you be scared that if I give you if I give you this information, you go farther than me. It's like, damn, I helped her out, and I'm still stuck in this situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just trash. And you can't be thinking like that. Like, you got just, you know what I'm saying? If you got the game and the person worth giving the game to... Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Especially if you've been through some shit, made some mistakes, you can pass that. You know what I'm saying down to Facts. whoever else. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta lift as you climb. I'm real. I'm real serious about that, especially with like the R&B girls that I'm, uh, you know, in cahoots with. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times they like, nigga, I'm not telling you about this show. I'm not telling you about <laughs> this sure, opportunity yeah. or nothing like that. But we we collectively like we work together. Like it's a nice handful of us that we talk to each other often. We mm-hmm. put each other on. We tell um, each other. They're like, what can you do better? For sure, Shit yeah. Like that. No, fast, fast, fast. Yeah. And when last time you got a good cry on? And what's the reason? A cry? Yeah. What's the what's the last, when last time Woo! you cried? What's the reason? Let's see. When last time I cried? We go from t- financial literacy to crying and. We talking about all kind of shit. I yeah, love this yeah, podcast. Th- throwing fries at each other. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> last cry. Last cry. Okay. Vulnerable moment. Okay. So I cried about the fact that I. My son is not going to be raised in a two-parent household. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I did have a moment there because mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, I tried. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure, it yeah. is what it is at this point. And, you know, just looking at him like, you ain't going to miss a beat, though. No, 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 for sure. And it could be some it could be some benefits as well as, you know what I'm saying? You know, everything going to be a down when it comes to, like, not having, you know, a mom and dad at the crib. Because sometimes having a mom and dad at the crib can hurt the kid. That's fact. If y'all not the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. I, I definitely know. I know that hands-on. Like, yeah. the, my parents wasn't even, like, cool. <laughs> you know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah. But they didn't want it. We were just <laughs> all in the same house. And yeah. that wasn't that wasn't positive. Like, yep. if I didn't grow through that trauma and get to understand, like, yo, I don't want that. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. Cause you're looking I was at, very serious You're looking that. at how they acting, not knowing that that's rubbing up on you, so your next relationship going to be yeah. the same way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? No communication, arguing. Just you know? in the house. Yeah, like, yeah, no. Like, fuck, I married her. We here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want him, like, if, if anything, he'll, he'll see and understand what love look and feel like For if sure. that's not what we're showing him mm-hmm. we don't need to be showing him anything in that type of space For sure, but For he sure. can definitely feel the love like with mine he know what love look like and feel like with dad he know what love yeah. look like and feel like and like i say nigga i mean i know that's down the line but y'all you say y'all getting you know both getting to relationships and they both successful you relationships yeah. you see you see what's going on here was you know because that's how my oldest son is with his mom and her husband and me and my wife like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's two good households, and he ain't gained another family within him and then yeah, within I her. Love that. Yeah, so everybody, yeah. everybody care about each other. So, hey, sometimes you can get through it, even though it, it seemed messed up at the time. You know what I'm saying? That shit can, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a clear light at the end of the tunnel. That's facts. I, I definitely can 
a test to that. Mm-hmm. We're just going to get through it. For sure, for sure. We're going we're gonna to make it through. We're going to make yeah. it through. We're going to be strong in this world. But uh, if I had to, you know saying, learn about you and you wanted to give me, like, you know saying, your life or, you know what I'm saying, something about you, but you couldn't tell me in words, you had to tell me through a song or an album. What song or album going to tell me about King Yada Rashawn? Man. You ain't, I'm telling you, when you go on other podcasts, they never give you good questions like this. I love this. <laughs> yeah, it is, this is fire. This is fire. Okay, good song. Yeah, it'd be a or song or album. album that just, I play a song, this is you. Or I play an album, this is you. Mm. Damn. Yeah, you know, it's deep. I, I try to get it deep, baby. Give me a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me one second. It's always a little tough because, you know, you go always pulling your bag with your music, but it'd be, a, it'd be you know, it's fun, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love this. If it's from a this is really uh, making me think yeah. because I I feel like I've had this reflection not that long ago. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, you got title. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, I love title and shit, man. Let's make it easy. Oh no, no, no! I don't have title. Oh, okay. I got Apple. Oh, okay. I got Apple Music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> yeah. All right, speaking of songs too, we gotta say uh, rest in peace to um Tina Turner. Oh you know yes, what I'm man, so iconic. So I sure. Somebody said some bold junk. Um, too. I was kind of mad. That I read it, dog. Facebook and, and Instagram they be saying some shit. Tomorrow, yeah, we, they don't care. We wasted our prayers on Jamie. We should have gave it to Tina Turner. Like, damn, damn. Like, I was like, dog, come on, dog. Why are you gonna share it too? Like, that was tough, dog. That was that, that was hard, terrible. dog. So, there is an album by Adele. Okay. Called Nineteen. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to that when I was very young, and mm. I didn't really know what she was going through, but I was just like, oh, I could feel that. For sure. But there was so many high lows and valleys on there. Mm. Even every time it come on, I can reflect back to different times in my life where I was just like singing this song with my full heart. Mm. Um, I would definitely say that it was It's Adele, 19. Okay, that's dope, that's dope, that's yes. dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, what's something, what's something you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Like me, I wanted to be a tap dancer. Never told nobody. Oh wow! Yeah, I wanted to play a piano. That's like, lit. No, you, know, you know what I'm saying? My mom couldn't afford tap lessons. I was just talking to somebody how skillful that is to do. Hell like, yeah! You gotta have some good ankles. No, for, for that. sure. I wanted to learn that. Your ankles bad. gotta be fire. You <laughs> hey, ankles just, on. They gotta be nice and loosey goosey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can't be twisting <laughs> your ankles out there messing up. Yeah. So what's something you never told nobody that you wanted to be? Um. Well, people kind of know, but uh, I want to be a therapist. Okay. Okay. I uh, went to school for psychology, and mm-hmm. I have a master's degree in psychology. Okay. And um, I always said that, you know, push kind of shove, what I'm going to do is be an adolescent therapist, mm-hmm. rather be in high schools, or if I have, like, my own private practice. Okay, yeah, that's dope, that's dope. So you feel like you could, you feel like you, you know what I'm saying, you somebody that can talk to? Yes. I have, um, as you mentioned, I'm a cheerleading coach. Mm-hmm. So even in those spaces with them it's just still kind of like therapy okay yeah yeah for sure. i'm learning yeah. a lot about them who they are how they are and then even stuff that they just involuntarily share with me yeah. type shit yeah, and yeah. i'm like damn okay no nah, for sure like, like when you a coach you're not just a coach you a you a mentor yes you're a leader you know what i'm saying you another ear for them to, you know what I'm saying when they can't talk to their parents like because mm-hmm. i coach basketball so you know what I'm saying like i know how it is like damn i ain't got no dad to create i'm gonna talk to you yep you know so but yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It's not an easy job. People thinking it's just okay. I'm gonna teach them how to play basketball. That's it. No, you gotta. No. It's a because now that 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 person might look up to you and you might build a relationship with them for years on down the line. Facts. You know, that, and I do have good relationships with a lot of the cheerleaders that I used to coach. Like some of them now have had kids mm-hmm. and. You know what I'm saying? And I get messages from them on my social media all the time. Like, man, you are. Have and have always been such a positive influence on my life. Like you mm-hmm. just motivate me so crazy. And I'm like, listen, if you if if we're friends on here, yeah. let's stay connected. No, for sure. I don't care yeah. what's going on in life. You got me. Reach yeah. out. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, because you never you never know. Like them kids, those kids be going through it. They do. You know, they might need that that, that, that another ear besides mom and dad. Yeah. You know, and you right there to give them some good advice or whatever. Mm-hmm. And shout it's out like to all little the shit. They say like, yo, I don't, I'm like, where you ride? today mm-hmm. now i got an ear full of some shit that yeah. i didn't even know i was gonna get yeah, for just sure. because they didn't have a ride exactly 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 mm-hmm. now growing up you kind of spoke on it like was your mom and, and pops ever together while you was you know saying well you, they was together but they was kind of like we was out. man listen we was together the, my whole life yeah. until i was 16 and oh, that's wow. when you know what i'm saying we probably still would be together but my dad had some infidelity going on okay and uh i heard about it firsthand i think i was the first person to know about yeah. what was going on so then okay. that kind of changed 
life, which is interesting because that was a time in life where a lot of shit changed. Mm-hmm. 16. Mm-hmm. About to graduate high school, about For to finish sure. high school. Yep. So much was going on at that time. Mm. But, you know, that's when we knew that that was over. But shit, it had been over. Yeah, for sure, like, for a long it, time. You it said, was always over. It was you know? over. Yeah, man. We never was able to see. Like, we knew that they was trying to be parents. We knew mm. that they was trying to love us and whatnot. But it was a lot of things that they didn't know about themselves. For sure. And mm-hmm. they didn't really understand the parenting needs. Like, you doing financial, what about the emotional side? Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, people. A lot of people think, oh, yeah, I'm paying this, I'm paying that. Like, you should be good. You should yeah. be happy. Nigga, are you talking to her? Like, yeah, did you <laughs> hug your kids yeah, today? For sure. Hell yeah, <laughs> dog, for sure. That's the type of shit that I, that I experienced growing up. But that, you know what I'm saying? Fun fact, I'll tell you this. What up? When I was a kid, my parents were so more involved in making sure my brother was in X amount of sports okay, and yeah. doing blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Nobody was seeing what I needed what and wanted yeah, to do, yeah, right? Yeah. It wasn't until I was seven and a teacher heard me humming and was like, you want to be in a talent show? I'm about to put it together. Oh, yeah. That's when you was, you know what I'm saying, did Destiny Child. Yes. Yeah. That's when I jumped in the talent show and I coordinated with my girls. My parents had nothing to do with none of this. Yeah. When I was eight, nine, ten, still Ken and karate, and he hate all this yeah, shit. For sure, he just, yeah. They, they paying all his money. You got, hey, I got this talent right yeah. here. Yeah, I'm you like, know? hey guys, I'm about to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, for um, sure. Um, I remember, and I love my dad to death, but I remember I had told him like I'm about to audition for this play. It was a Caucasian play called Guys and Dolls. It was okay. a musical. Yeah. He like, you're not going to get it. Damn. I was like, take me up to Hollywood Video so I can watch the movie. Yeah. I watched that movie Hollywood every video. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah throwback. Throwback. Yeah. I watched that movie every day for like the weekend. Mm-hmm. By Monday, I auditioned. Mm-hmm. They did not expect me to get it. I was a black girl playing a role of Adelaide. Mm-hmm. And I wowed the the teachers so crazy they mm. like yo she gotta have it for sure i beat out seniors i beat out all these caucasian girls that been doing yeah. musicals and when i went home and told them i got it shit changed yeah you're like damn my, my bad whoa <laughs> you do this you this and that it was like yeah yeah for sure i'm about that yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's funny as hell but no yeah we do continue to like make sure as, especially as fathers like all right son Pick this football up, this basketball up. Yes. I got a dog over here. Hey, uh, you know, move. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What are you doing? I'm I'm in the waiting room at his rehearsals yeah. and practices and shit, I yeah. should say. Now, you being seven and you, you know saying, entering a talent show, whatever, to do your thing, like, you you love this music thing, but when did it become, like, a love, like, a passion of yours? Like, you wanted to go ahead and make this a career. Like, at what point was that? Like, a whole thing was probably in high school mm-hmm. when I was – the the people that was like watering me, mm-hmm. my choir teacher, my uh, drama teacher, and then two, my communications teacher. Mm-hmm. They just seen so much in me. They like nigga, you're not regular. For sure. So make sure whatever you're doing, you are like going hard in the paint for it. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. my choir teacher. Uh, shout out to Miss Brenna and Miss Patterson. They was just like, um. Make sure this is before it was even popular to be like recording yourself. They mm-hmm. like record yourself singing oh, and sure. keep it, yeah, and just hold on to it. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're getting footage of all this different stuff. Like I got archives of stuff that I'm waiting for my VH1 True Hollywood story for sure. Hell but, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> they was just on it like you, you, you're a star, mm-hmm. and they built that in me. Even even when I'm like, no, I'm out hanging with the homies on the south side smoking. Yeah. They're like, yeah, do that, but nigga, you're a star. Yeah, for make sure. sure yeah, yeah. And make sure you, you stay it. at yeah. it. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, that's dope. That's dope. It's, it's, it's dope that you have people behind you telling you, you know what I'm saying, to, get, to get on, stay on your shit. Yeah, and not, sure. And you know, because a lot of people, they don't give a fuck, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Support, right. Yeah. But I can tell you this, it wasn't really the, um, I have an aunt. She knew I was a star when I was mm. a kid. That was the only one like, yo, what you doing? I'm about yeah. to go to Destiny Child concert. I'm about to pick for you sure. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She for sure was just like, even as an like you got all your nieces and nephews and shit, but yeah. she anything music related, she, getting she you, was yeah. always like, yada, come on, do this, yeah. do that. And uh, like I said, at seven, I was just like, I don't, I don't like the word idolizing, but I was looking at Beyonce and Destiny Child like, 
Whoa. Yeah, this for is sure. Gold. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be there very soon. No, for sure. Just don't be falling like Michelle. Right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I never forget that one. Once you part, like, damn, she feel hard. And they ain't stop. Hell ain't no. Nothing changed. No, hey, get your ass up. Come on. That's how professional <laughs> niggas is. For sure. Hell yeah. Like, keep it moving. Damn. Lay up, look like, oh, shit, she feel Yeah. Keep, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> 106. We just on 106 apart, you know. Hell yeah. 106 apart. I miss those days. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Right after school. For sure. For sure. Now, was there a time, like, early on, like, you know what I'm saying? You say you took it serious, more serious in high school. Was there a time, like, in between. Your first project in high school that you like, eh, I'm done with this music shit. Yeah. What what made you keep continue to go? Um, I was dating this guy who mm. was just like, just ghetto. I could just mm. use that word in all caps. Yeah. It was just Damn. ghetto. Yeah. And I was trying so hard to adapt to the ghetto lifestyle, <laughs> and I'm like, nigga, this ain't even me. It was so, and I was trying. Like yeah. I kept trying. I'm like I love him, but I love him. Yeah. I'm gonna figure it out. It was just not for me. But yeah. in the midst of that, I kept getting different performance opportunities, recording mm. opportunities. Yeah. He wasn't supportive. Mm. So I kind of got rebellious in a sense because I'm like, nigga, I, this is what I love. Yeah, like, I love sure. you, but I love this. Yeah, hell yeah. And, sure. and, and I, I stopped doing everything. I was smoking, drinking. Yeah. I wasn't eating. I, I got wilding. masking. I, got, I look crazy. It Man. was a good time. Look at, look at Kia over there going crazy, messing her life up. For real. <laughs> And then I would still be like, yeah, I'm a singer, y'all. Mm -hmm. And like, bitch, you smoke. No, no you're not. Black mouth. Yeah. Get out of my face. <laughs> Wood <Wooly> tip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Man. <laughs> You freaking that black yeah, guy? That's what sure. you spoke. She got here. She, he got here. You out here like a thug life out here. Boy. I was really thugging, and yeah. I hated that for me. But yeah. it was like that was what I wanted to do at the time, yeah, and I did not sure. see myself being professional or doing it for real, for real. Mm -hmm. And I got into a job where I was working at a call center, mm -hmm. and uh, two different situations. I was actually at. Um, I was at the barbershop singing. Okay. They was like, we looking for another singer. Mm -hmm. Can you come to the rehearsal? I yeah. went. Cool. Performed. This is when I started performing live bands. For sure. But before then, it was just like, uh, the guy at the call center was like, yeah, I used to work for Bad Boy. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. I got some songs. You want to sing over them? Yeah. And that's where my album, the first album that I recorded, Love, Say La Vie, came about. Mm-hmm. It was in 2014, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, talk about like you dropping, because everybody, when they first drop a project, they all magically think they're going to get signed. I know. So talk I about, definitely felt like that. I know. I, I was doing, I did, like, I'm, they coming. I was doing a little music, man. I thought we were going to get a deal. Like, oh, we're going to get it's a deal. Time. Hell yeah, we got this. If, I, it, if it was the 90s, it would happen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Had like four songs on that boy. Like, what? man, we got to get a deal right now. Ah. I remember I called KD and they asked him, could I uh, perform on his junk? He's like, man, bye. Oh, Lord. He's like, it's never a radio. I'm like, I'm going to call him. And see if I can open up. Yeah. That nigga like, man, uh, no, nah, cause it's I'm not like, your time. Oh, all right, man. All right, but like, like you dropping it like in 2014, think you gonna get a deal? Like, what were your expectations? And did you you feel like that that album did you know what I'm saying did did some good? I do feel like it did some good. It definitely uh, exposed me. So mm. during that time, it was like a lot of people were still coming out of the. Kenyatta Shine, the fighter, the smoker, the mm. the girl who just outside to like. That's King Out of Rashawn, the artist. So yeah. during that time period, it was like I was starting to share more, uh, like, visually. Like, I'm showing y'all that I got these shows. I'm getting booked. I'm mm -hmm. doing all this stuff. And this was at a tender time because yeah. I didn't feel like... I, I wasn't confident as I am today about all that shit. Because mm -hmm. the guy that I was working with, all of this was free. Okay. He was like, I got you. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But when it started going into like shooting a music video, mm -hmm. those things, that's all you got to do is take care of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm doing all I'm, I'm, I'm not really putting in the work, but this nigga really believe in me. Sure. So maybe yeah. he about to shop this shit mm -hmm. to somebody so we can like blow up. Mm -hmm. But still a time where you needed to grow. I needed all the challenges that came along with it. Mm -hmm. So it was... High, high, high expectations. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm like, oh yeah, it's up. Yeah, hell yeah. Somebody gonna get this shit. Once you hear that first song, you're like, oh, I think it's a rap. I'm oh, and that album is so deal. good. Deal, god deal, god deal mm -hmm. on the way. <laughs> like Rome. I said, Damn. bad boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you up? You know what? Ra <laughs> random, random. This random as hell, but I was, you know, what I'm saying, of course, before you was on the show, I was doing my little research and stuff. And man, it was one podcast. He was on. I was, I was cracking up. Because y'all had that mask on the whole time. <laughs> this is during COVID. During COVID. Hey, the whole time she talked like this, cute, like, they could pull the mask out. My man, mask was so tight, like, he was a, he had Spider Man. Yeah. Jump off. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth was, so, like, oh, it was, it, that boy was tight. Yeah, it was probably one of them plastic masks, too. Yeah. Or... I, that's what I was going to ask you, like, how, 
how uncomfortable the interview probably was good but how uncomfortable it had to be like this both of y'all go back and forth with those masks on like. Wait, you, all you see is eyes I can't <laughs> even we we can't even get like a real genuine vibe but those yeah. it was at Grove Studios them guys they love and support me yeah, go crazy that was hilarious and it was like during a time where we probably shouldn't be doing this but they that yep. was what they was trying to keep no, shit for sure. moving yep, yep, you know yep 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 Weird. I ain't gonna lie, I probably would have told you, like, if you're gonna take, keep the mask on, let's just do it another time. Cause yeah. <laughs> she was in my like. No, they told me I had to keep it oh, on. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the podcast station that they had, they was, uh, like, rotating different yeah. people and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, it was. Germs yeah. was so serious. No, for that sure. Time. My man Jump was skin tight, though. That boy was all <laughs> on that nigga face. Like, every time he, he was just cool with, like, that. he been doing that for a minute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the whole, the whole coach. She's trying to get her, like, yeah, I'm from MC Queen RB. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just funny. That was just random. I was watching that shit laughing. But no, your most recent project was uh, 2021. Uh, the art, the, the art of keeping it uh, real. The art of keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that project and how, how did you grow from the previous project to that one there was a big gap what seven years yeah huge gap i dropped singles in between okay um because that was like the thing to do For sure. so um i already keeping it real is like my baby mm -hmm. like i birthed that before i gave birth and i just i was going through a time one i was pregnant mm -hmm. two i was going through changes in my relationship mm -hmm. um I was so engulfed in trying to be exp as expressive as possible without saying too much. For sure, yeah. Like uh, the there's a song titled "Wrong." That's literally I'm a that's what I'm a uh, share on the podcast. For sure. But that that song had meant so much to me, just being so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck, fuck yeah, it. For sure, we hell just about yeah. to put it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So now, I that's love that what, album. Give me your top three songs on there. Mine's is uh, Mine's is wrong. Uh, I like Homie for Life and Blues Clues. Yeah. yeah. What's your so, top three? My top three is Wrong, mm -hmm. um, You Make Me Feel Better, Okay. and Blues Clues. Okay, okay, okay. Now, and, and now she, on, on that wrong, you were saying like, I was, she said something that you already hear too often from um, from, the, from the ladies. She said, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I fucked up. Yeah, it was she, me. She said, I was wrong. I promise uh, I can love you better. Like, you hear God saying that, but like, as a woman, can do a woman like really admit when they wrong in a relationship, or they just keep no. that shit in there? No, and when I seen that, <laughs> when I seen that live, that's the first thing I asked is like, how many ladies in here that apologize to their man? Mm -hmm. It's crickets. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, yo, I'm gonna give you this, so yeah. you can take that and you could play that on a voicemail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. And uh, homie for life, you say uh, I've been doing, I've been doing too damn much. Uh, you don't see it. Mm -hmm. Like, like talk. It was every time like. You, you like, damn, I'm showing you I want you, but you, yeah. you backing up. True story. That song yeah. is very true from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Like, I mean, I talk about, like, you know, I do anything that you ask for. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it don't matter what it is. I try to make your life comfy. For sure. I, I try to make sure that you, you eating good, whatever the case may be. But a lot of times, people get fed up when no. it's not reciprocated. Yeah, facts. You don't reciprocate in the amount of time that I need you to, like just yeah, on some humanetics type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, we homies. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be that best friend for you forever, mm -hmm. but it has to be reciprocated. Ain't shit I no, can do sure. if, it's, if we not on the same wavelength. Now you talking about, you know, make sure he fed and stuff. What's your go-to meal if you want to go ahead and impress somebody? Ah, what? impress somebody? Okay, yeah, if you, if so. You cook, what you cooking? What? <sighs> I be getting like real real crazy with it so i like thai food okay so i make like this uh pad thai with mm. chicken and shrimp okay sounds good um, yeah that's it's very fire and then my other favorite go-to meal is like um some fried catfish with mm. green beans macaroni and sweet potatoes oh yeah now with the macaroni is it like the macaroni like when you put it on a spoon and it come down just like, nah okay it's, okay it's that macaroni wink wink yeah <laughs> yeah make that good noise like, yeah God. you know it's that mac <laughs> Hey, that's that like good mac. mac boy she layered that boy yeah. everything and i cook mine different because i don't really do dairy so, and it's really good i think i think i need to retire to dairy too nigga retire because nobody's supposed to drink milk as soon, i don't drink milk but it's like, like <laughs> <laughs> I done this shit. yeah as soon as that cheese or that ice cream it's when it <laughs> touch my stomach it's like oh shit hell no i'll be like i gotta make sure i eat that stuff like on my day off yeah, cause you need the whole day. Yeah, I need to be at home. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm at work, ain't no, ain't no, ain't nothing getting done around here. Is it wrong? Is it right? Now, the song title "Wrong." When was the last time you was wrong about something? Mm-hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> you ain't never wrong, huh? I be wrong. Yeah. But I don't be wrong. 
That makes sense? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, but the guy ain't gonna admit to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have no problem in no situation to say I'm wrong, but yeah. I got a good streak going right now. But y'all, I get it, I get it, I get it. You really been wrong. She lately. was wrong yesterday, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the song Free, I just, just want to be free. What's, what's freedom for you? Freedom like, for me? Music, life, what's freedom for you? Not if I, first of all, financially free. Yeah. That's, a, that's major. For sure, um, for sure. Being able to take care of your business without feeling like you in a hold, mm -hmm. like in a sh in a shack or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, free, feeling free and being free is two different vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you were singing your ass off on that song too. I ain't gonna lie. That's my shit. That's that's definitely three point five. If I was doing three top three, yeah, for sure. Uh, that's that's one of the ones. Yeah. And then it, I don't know if you got a chance to see the video, but I was pregnant. Okay. I had okay. my son the next week. Oh damn! Yeah, you out here. Yeah, you. <laughs> I was letting that stuff be free. Yeah, you know? <laughs> we free. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Now, when you recording like your recording process, what's some things that you need to have in the studio? Like, I gotta have this, or I don't want this. Like, you know, some people like to have a lot of people in the studio. Some people mm -hmm. like to be quiet in the dark. Like, what what's the studio setting for you? Studio setting for me is I need some tea. Okay. Uh, it don't even have to be. So like, that's why I'm missing. That's why my voice ain't right. Yeah, drink right, or or honey water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honey water is my favorite go-to. I just need some warm water with some good, like not organic, but it gotta be like some real honey. Mm -hmm. I can't do like the little package shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What little is it? Popeyes honey. Yeah, <laughs> don't put that shit in my tea. That is like, oh god. But yeah. some good honey tea. Um. Also, like for the environment to just be like chill, mm -hmm. I don't need a bunch of people there for unless sure. they're part of the uh, vocal engineer. Okay, okay, okay. Are you are are you good with people giving you the criticism like, hey, that ain't it, or do this or Very change much that? So I want it to be great. Like I don't even work with everybody's engineer when yeah. it comes down to recording because sure. uh, I learned a lot of times that the everybody is not skilled to engineer r&b vocals yeah. that's a dope jacket by the way i just oh thank back. you I'm like, like that was sweet that was sweet y'all see the back what, what's on the back oh yeah oh okay got your little name yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Not cool. i ain't gonna say little i'm sorry i'm sorry i got your name on there <laughs> big name big name big king out in this one <laughs> Now you know I, I I got I asked you you know saying we was going back and forth over DM about uh you know when I have rappers on they rap sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad you know what I'm saying but I want to, you know I love R&B like mm -hmm. like people be surprised I rather listen to an R&B album before I listen to a rap album any day. Oh, I'm the opposite. I'm Real? getting better. Yeah, because I'm, I do I do R and B. So yeah, me and, when is. I listen to some rap, I would just be turning into a thug. Like yeah. I just want to turn that shit on, roll the windows down, <laughs> turn that see? shit on sixty. See, I want to go ahead, listen to R and B, roll the windows down. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I, when I be at work, I be man R and B like a mud dog. Like it's this one like, chick I just got hip to. I think her name is uh, Elaine. Mm. She she hard though. I like I like I like her music. Uh, it's a couple of new people I've been. I be trying to, you know, dip and dab with yeah. new artists, not just the same old, same old. You know what I'm saying? A, a good R&B playlist that keep stays updated will change your life. For sure, I'll be on that junk too. They be think I probably listen to DMS. I'll be at work. Huh? Listen to the softest junk ever, for real, so for real. Big. I got about <laughs> I got about six R&B playlists, everything. That's what's up. But no, I asked you, you know, what I'm saying if you wanted to give us, you know, what I'm saying a, a little bit, of, uh, you know, vocals, whatever you say, you was down with it, so yeah, yeah. Like to hear. So and she gonna do acapella, fellas. And, and gals, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. No instrumental, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, the, the, it's Shy Style 16, the singing edition. Ooh, do do do. Ooh. Let's see. <laughs> 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 I wasn't shit to you. Mm. I messed up a time or two. There was so much more that I could do. To change us love before we're through It's not easy to say I'm wrong But I realize what I have done I played a part in all this too You can tell by the little things. Why, why can't I be blessed with some a voice? Yeah. Why can't, why can't I be blessed with that? Like, damn. Like, my I'm supposed to be out here. I was wrong. I mean, that motherfucker sound like Ray J, though. Like, can I have one wish? That was the shit, too, though. When you Wait, Ray J back then or Ray J huh? now? When he was back then, back then. <laughs> See, that's another thing you mess up. Call your girl, you know, play at one wish. One wish. Ooh, got her. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Or, the, see, my thing is, all right, I'm going to ask you this. What's a low-key R&B album that's like people might not, that's, that they slip on? 
That they slip on? They slept on, They yeah. slept on? Like, they slept on that Radiation Ray J album. I don't care what none of y'all niggas mm. said. He had this one song called Playhouse. And, like, me and my son, Miles was just getting together. Just like, so I'm like, hey, we about to have his kids. You know what I'm saying? I turned the song on, Playhouse. Ooh, she cried okay. and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We about to have a family. Like, I'm, the, I'm a king of playing a song. Like, you know what I'm saying? Turn some shit on. Hell yeah. Back in the day, Jay Holiday. Mm-hmm. Niggas was sleeping on that first album. Oh, no, my God. Sure. Hell yeah. That, Hell yeah. That had some, some tracks on there. And What's I that? Uh, I'm going to put you in bed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was yeah. Other, it was other tracks on there. Y'all ever, you ever listen to Pretty Willie? Uh, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard the name. If these four walls could talk, don't say oh. my memo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, See, you could tell she got, she got that little humming voice, like. Mm-hmm. I, I, <laughs> I <can't." laughs> well, you understand how that would be a cheat code for me if I could sing back then. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'll be like that Chris Brown video, walk behind her dancing yeah. and singing. Yeah. Tell me, fellas. <laughs> yeah. See, see, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Now let me ask you, like, you know, I don't want to get too much into your business, but you and your dude, you know, what I'm saying y'all, y'all, y'all doing what y'all, you know, grown people do at night. Okay, is it would it be weird for him to turn your music on to what y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> like hear your voice at y'all. Like would that be weird for That's you? That's a good fucking question because I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah. Like I don't think that has ever happened. Yeah. I think I played that on like some. I played wrong before. Like, <laughs> I played wrong trying to get freaky because I done fucked up on some shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the introductory part, but not like. In the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, hey, I'm a, I'm a that play- probably would be weird. Yeah, hearing your own, you know what I'm saying? It just come on the playlist. Yeah, like. But it'll probably turn me up. Yeah. If, if it's some shit, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's me. I was hitting that yes. note. Hit that note. You need the same energy that I just gave you off of this Shanti track. <laughs> that's funny, man. That's funny as <laughs> hell, man. Because like, I, I, I don't know. Music, it, I don't know. Music, it, it can be a threat, too. Mm. Because you mm. never want to finish before a song. <laughs> And, and now these songs be short. <laughs> you fucking, these, Two these, minutes. You yeah. be like, you be like, damn, damn. I just want to rock. Came on. Now you- <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the key to that, fellas, is to just give her a whole bunch of different moves. That's. So like, damn, this nigga, he went crazy in three. <laughs> no, the key is the preparation, the uh, foreplay. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Don't, don't, uh, don't tap out too soon if you ain't. Make sure no, the satisfaction is on sure. your girl. Yeah, for sure. You about to tap out too soon? Let me try something different real quick. Yeah. <laughs> now she's sitting there mad yeah. at you. Let's have a conversation. Like, so how was your day? <laughs> we gonna get back to it, but how was your day though? I was just curious. Like, oh god, <laughs> boring. Man, that's funny though. No, that's funny as hell. But no, no, like. That, that music, like, back in the day, like, I, I said this countless times on the show. Back in the day, those Ozzy Brothers songs was real long. They was. So, it's like, shit, granddad was had to get through a seven-minute song. Like, That's facts. <laughs> nigga, it'd be three minutes in. Nigga ain't even sung anything. Like, this nigga is doom, doom. Oh, God. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Like, damn, nigga, hurry up, cuz. <laughs> instrumentals, like, they be mad long, but they the coldest instrumentals No, ever for sure, there. for sure, man. Shout out to the granddads that had that pressure on them. Yeah. <laughs> Off That's, the velvet. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like now, um, what's what's some as far as like working with you know ladies, or whatever you say you like rap and stuff. Like, do do collabs happen with with women in in Michigan and Detroit? Like, it don't seem like a lot of ladies work together when it comes to music. Like, nah, not sing wise. Maybe like some um rapper. The last collab I remember that was like the coldest was. Uh, not album, just a track was Cash Doll mm-hmm. and the Britney. Okay. Like, uh, now that I got this money, that that is a fire track. For sure, for but sure. I haven't heard anything remotely close. Um, yeah. I I keep getting a lot of DMs telling me that I need to work with Rocky, which is that's I would love to. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. For sure. But I really don't know many R and B artists collabing with female rappers. I would love to hear. I would love to hear you like on a payroll hook. This guy payroll be just like he be having those those songs that really like me. Yes, you know what it's saying? giving you like updated sixties, yeah. seventies. He always got a nice, nice. No, for fire sure, hook. for sure, for sure. And he, like I say, yeah, let's make payroll. You know, get her on the song and come on the podcast. Come on, payroll. <laughs> you you know, know, my homegirl Hope Rainey. She hopped on two different tracks for payroll. Okay, yeah, yeah. for sure. Any, anybody else that you want to work with, lady or um or male, as far as like in the city? In the city, mm-hmm. um, definitely want to work with Sada. Um. Yeah. Uh, as well as Y and J, okay. like I, I just love the way he write a beat and how he's different. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's Flint, my bad. A one O. For sure, for sure. Um, also, um, I want to work with, like I said, Rocky Bad. I want to start working with more female rappers. Mm-hmm. Um, just to give like a different 
perspective. I don't have that. No, that'd be in tough. My, in yeah. my, you know, yeah, my yeah, arsenal. arsenal. Yeah, for so, sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of, you know, working with people, you know what I'm saying? You old enough to know about making the band back in the day. Ha! <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The rap yes. version and the R&B Dylan, version. Dylan, 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 yeah. Dylan, and yeah, Dylan. Yeah, that's gonna funny. Shout out to, uh, what's his name, man? Rob and John. He, he said he Yeah, wants... Rob! Yeah, well, I wonder what happened to them to them fellas, man. You know what I'm saying? But, they you know. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, give me a, you're making the band album, you and four other people. Who, mm. It could be, it could be singers, rappers, producers, like, who will be in that album, on that album, in, in, in that band? Mm, okay. So, me... Okay. Producer, Helliva. I definitely want to okay, work with Helliva. Keep Hellever. it the home team. Hell yeah, shout out to Helliva. Yes. Been waiting on that podcast, and, you know what I'm saying? Coming soon. <laughs> so you, uh, Helliva. Rapper. Uh, they could be all singers if you want to. Like, I'm just, you know, it's just you could pull from whatever you want. Singers. So there's this new artist called KB. Mm -hmm. She's cold. Okay. Shout out to her. So you, KB. Me, KB. Helliva on the Beats. Helliva on the Beats. Um... Pimp different. Pimp different. Who's pimp that? different. That's that is a relative of mine. But when yeah. I say pimp, like you ever heard of pimp talk? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that's the name. Pimp different. His name is Pimp Different. All right, I want to. He he signed. He's sweet. Yeah, you he gotta, gotta check be. him out. With that name, he gotta be. You got you gotta come right, dog. So yeah, I'm gonna check you out, Pimp Different. Yeah, it's <laughs> Pimp Different. Um, um, uh, uh, Rocky. I need I need that hard shit on there. And let me see. Um. Uh, she had another one, y'all, because that's five right there. That is five. Just add another one. You can go ahead and get you. No, that's five. That's you, five? You, hell of a pimp, pimp different. different. KB. KB. And Rocky. Okay. I could have sworn you said something. Oh, no, you, you took him away. The Y and J, you took him away. Yeah. That was, yeah. Okay. That's, that's plenty. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, All right. That's dope. Yeah, dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Now, you and four other people on the mainstream tip, like your Beyonce, your hoes, like who would it be? You and four other mainstream artists, like super okay. mainstream. I ain't, I ain't no disrespect to y'all. I'm just saying, like, you know. Yeah, we are just upper echelon. Nigga. Yeah, we work yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, fuck you, cuz. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Coco Jones. Oh, I love her. Alex Vaughn. Okay, yeah, hell yeah, I love her too. Summer Walker. Love her. Her new EP, Hard. What? Yeah. Woo that shit hard, yeah, I love it. Oh, it's so tell, You can tell she's been with Erica Badu. Yes. <laughs> you chilling. You got listen to her, dog. You, you mess with Erica Badu. Sure. Yeah, yes. her new junk, Hard. It's only like eight songs. Um, And uh, Brent Fires. Okay, okay. So, you, Brent Fires, Summer Walker. Alex Vaughn, Coco Jones. Yeah, Coco Jones. Coco Jones. Mm -hmm. That's a nice looking uh, group. <laughs> I yeah. I, I, not, not you, Brent. Not you, Brent, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but the ladies looking nice on that way. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? Like some things that you believed as a young King Yada that you like looking back on like, what the hell was I thinking? Definitely fighting and drama. Yeah. Unnecessary fighting and drama too. Mm -hmm. um, I learned a lot throughout life. Like, and this is like key stuff that I share with others. Like, mm. if somebody wanted to, they would. Yeah. Uh, and you can't control nobody. Like, being with people and being around people is literally like more experience than anything. You can't control. You don't own nobody. For sure. I used to definitely feel like I own niggas. Like, nigga, you're mine. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. I'm about to beat that bitch up because she thought yeah. you was her. Like, <laughs> no. She got that shit wrong. Yeah, yeah. I really, when I sit back and think about all the drama that I, unnecessary drama that I had, because I was always the cool nigga. Mm -hmm. I was having cool parties at my crib. Like, when I say parties, like the shit you see on movies, like the white kid's house because we lived in the suburbs mm -hmm. and no parents. I'm going to just leave it at that. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. yeah, getting, getting, getting wild. <laughs> but yeah, and I was just, it, it just never fit my character to always be in drama in the fight. For sure. So definitely that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, when you plan on dropping another body of work, I know, you know, he's... I'm working, I'm working, I'm yeah. working, I'm yeah. working, I'm working. I got an idea for you as you do, and maybe it cut out, like, but you should, I think that, you know, an artist should, like, say you got eight songs, right? Mm hmm You should do, like, a podcast... As far as like just a special, just for that one album, break it down each episode for each song. I could do that. Just to break it down. Just we can do that. Yeah, yeah. I would tap in with you. Heck yeah, we that's can do that. Yeah, it's exclusive. So if y'all, y'all, today's date is the. Uh huh. What's today? It's May twenty sixth. Yes, Twenty twenty three. You know what I'm saying? We already talked about it. I like that. We got we on... manifesting that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, so we just break it down. Boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. And we can do it like I said. You got a studio. We can go to it. Ain't too far because yeah, know, hate travel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it together for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, what's yeah. some What's some advice you want to give to like a, a you know a young up and coming artist? You know, what I'm saying the game that they should know or they should you know not do or whatever. Mm -hmm. One, have the have the finances. Mm -hmm. Keep the investment 
making sense. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't suggest going out and just keep paying for uh, songs to get recorded and paying producers and all that stuff because at the end of the day, you have to have the funds to be able to put it out on the um, streaming platforms. You need a visual. Just make sure that you balance out your money and it makes sense. For sure. Uh, the next thing I would say is create a good team of people. Yeah, a good team it. of people will help you go so much further. Mm. You need a videographer. You need somebody that's kind of like management. Um, and then you also need somebody around you that is like doing better than you mm-hmm. in that lane. For sure. Um, I will also say to think about who you need to cut off. No, yeah, Do yeah. that early because... Peeps, everybody is not going to support you. Some people be like, yeah, instead of you going to, to the studio, let's just go smoke. Or yeah, let's sure. just go to the strip club. Shit that you probably don't need to be yeah, doing right now. Black mile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just smell that shit when y'all say it. <laughs> that shit used to super enhance the high. Yikes. Yeah, you be fucking stumbling and shit. Yeah, but, sure. um, and, and I will also say build the confidence. Okay. Build the confidence. A lot of times, a lot of us don't really... We, we see this shit and we like, yeah, I want to do that shit. I could do that shit. Mm-hmm. Maintain that same energy from start to, to, to progress. I don't For say sure. finish because we ain't ending shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. start to progress. Make sure you're maintaining that confidence. For sure. Hell yeah. For sure. For sure. Now, last thing I'm going to ask you before we get to our little, you know, last part of the podcast. What's something that you would change within yourself as far as your start? Mm. That you would have done differently? Like, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely put more money into what I was doing. Okay. Um, I I put out the Love Say La Vie album, and mm-hmm. I do feel like it probably could have did better, but I didn't have no financial backing behind it. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's For very sure. important. And um, how you allocate your funds too, mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense as far as like what's the what's the drawback. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, she, you can tell she 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 she, she knows this uh, interview shit like she's a good person to interview y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all should get Thank in the you, podcast. I, get that. I think that's just because I'm a good person. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> now we do a thing called uh, I'm, I'm gonna do verses. I ain't did verses in a minute. I give you uh, a scenario. Oh, this is my least favorite part. Scenario. Okay. I give you people. Whatever I give you, you tell me who will win. Yeah. All right. So we'll start off with uh, Usher versus R. Kelly. We gonna we gonna throw R. Kelly no. stuff in because you can say what you want. R. Kelly got classes, and for our age range, those are like the two you know what I'm saying goats of R. B. I hate to say this, yeah, it's R. Kelly. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Usher and I. I've been in a debate where somebody asked me about Usher versus J, um, what's that boy named Trey Songs, and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be that's an easy Usher. wash. That's an easy wash. Yeah, but <laughs> but what their argument was that what other great classic songs do Usher have besides Off the Confession? Um, you gotta go to what's name? You gotta uh, start my from way. the beginning. My yeah, way was my a, good, way. a good album. Hey, that, I would say eighty seven oh two. Eighty seven oh two. I, I, this is my argument. Yeah. But R. Kelly is definitely not no, throwing sure. a life raft yeah, out yeah. there for, for sure. For sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. Fast, mm-hmm. fast. Because like Trey Songz, he should bounce my like Omarion or something like you know what I'm saying. And that's a wash because Omarion, you what if Omarion can't use no B two K classic? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Crazy. All right, seafood versus soul food. So full. Seafood don't fill you up. Yeah, that's true. And it's kind of tough sometimes. <laughs> I be pissed off when I go to a seafood restaurant and be hungry like when it's 40 minutes. <laughs> no, for I just sure. I paid $80 for some crab yeah. legs and no. now I'm still hungry. Nightlife versus daylife. Ooh, daylife. All right. Fall gear versus summer gear. Fall gear. You got to be fresh. No, for sure. That's when you get that. Ah, that's yeah. when you know who fresh and who yeah, ain't. Yeah, like, damn, that nigga struggling. Summertime was easy for you, brother. <laughs> get the little Walmart shorts and the white yeah, tee. Yeah, the white tee, that's it. That's no, for sure. you get to see how a nigga really dressed in the fall. Yeah, I used to be mad as hell as a young, as a young adult. You'd be like, damn, my summer, my, my winter gear ain't that cold. <laughs> I got to get my winter gear yeah. You got that bubble <laughs> whack ass coat. You got, you got coat pressure. You got everything. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford a coat, so you got to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. For real. Give me... Uh, was you blessed to be uh, to live with your like to know and be around your grandmother? They are still present, thank God. Oh hell yeah, it's just a loser you. You know what I'm saying? So your mama cooking versus your grandma cooking? Grandma cooking. Grandma cooking? Oh shit, you said that with these, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mom didn't cook. Oh damn. Okay, who's cooking the crib? <laughs> she was. <laughs> <laughs> Dad a little bit and uh, yeah. TV dinners, man. Oh for sure, hell yeah! Shout out to the TV dinners, man. I know how it is. I know how it is. All right, on on the wrap tip. J. Cole versus Kendrick. Ah! Kendrick. Kendrick? K-Dot. Okay, okay. Team Eastside is a group versus Doughboy Cash Show. Ah, I just seen that. 
Doughboy Cash Out. Yeah, yeah. Classic. No, for sure. Hell yeah. They Hell had yeah. me in a chokehold summer 2009. Yeah. The whole time. For sure. If you had, all right, you, you got to listen to one or the other. Vezo versus Payroll. Vezo. Man, I'm going to Payroll. What yeah. Pay? How you going to pay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but sometimes I, don't, I think it's like Vezo delivery just make, make me want to just mm-hmm. like turn mm-hmm. that shit up. Going to the movies or just ch- chilling watching a movie at the crib? Um, Going to the movies. All right, all right, all right, all right. Date night versus, uh, damn, well, I, I, I slipped my brain. <laughs> uh, Restaurant date versus a movie date. Restaurant date. Yeah, get to talking. What's your, yeah. what, what's your go-to restaurant? Like, do it got to be a certain... You know what I'm saying? Restaurant to go to or like you you too good for Applebee's? Like what? what? I'm too good for Applebee's. Damn, you it's for real about that, huh? Don't please don't take me to Applebee's. We can get the two for twenty five. Like no, it's good. That shit is trash. Yeah, Applebee's is trash though. Applebee's like, is don't trash. Taste good. And it's a it's a bunch <laughs> it's a bunch of different restaurants just like Applebee's. Yeah, I I mess with Chili's heavy though. I like no. The- I love Chili's. I ain't gonna no. lie. I, I like the little. They uh. I only get the same thing. Like I get the uh, chicken quesadillas. And it's the same thing every time. It's the yep. same way every time. Yep. They don't Ch- fuck that up. Chicken quesadillas and then the little honey um spicy little tenders with the little loaded mashed potatoes. Wow, I, that you know be, exactly what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> that be good with some with some uh with some strawberry lemonade. Ooh, the only Applebee's Italian Applebee's you catch me at is Olive Garden. Yeah, they know how to do something. And them salads is perfect. Burgers versus tacos. Tacos. Okay. 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 All right, this this is I had this little freaky question a minute though. If okay. you don't want to answer, you ain't gonna answer. <laughs> Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk sex. Okay, everybody say that, Joe. You it's you, fun. Yeah. You're just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you ready to get your booty eight or your, or your you know what I'm saying? Or what? Your, your coup eight. I don't like saying you it's know what the coup. Okay, okay, the coup for you, huh? Yeah. You don't gotta do the bum bum. Yeah, you do you ain't gotta do it. You don't you don't prefer like uh, I, shit, I don't care, but you just make sure you take care of the front first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, that's, the first time you had that happen, was you, like, surprised? Like, cause Yes. The first time I did, I was surprised with it myself. Like, damn. I, I Look feel at like, me. I done I, slipped I, up. I, I felt ashamed of myself. Like, nigga, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, trifling ass nigga. Like, you, you nigga made her talk to yourself, like. Oh, and nigga, you all in your head and shit. Like, this I nigga just... ain't booty. Like. <laughs> you can't stop now. I gotta keep going. Yeah, now you a vet, nigga. Booty. Ah! Like. Yeah, booty that... eater. <laughs> what is that? Uh, no, I see. Look, this. I don't. I don't care. But I remember. I was just like, oh, yeah. This nigga is nasty. Yeah, I like, like it. Like I said, first time. <laughs> first time I, I saw. I saw R. Kelly eat booty. I'm like, nigga, on that sex tape. Like this nigga tripping. That nigga was, yeah. and he was doing shit before anything was popular. Yeah, like that. Like, like, like me, and my nigga Cheese said, like we didn't think that was something that you even did. Like, yeah, like eat booty. Like, like you eat booty. This nigga tripping. Nigga, what is what's calling us? Uh, Sukiana. Eating ass? Nah, yeah. I'm eating his ass. Yeah, no, yeah. Eating his ass. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. not. No. Hey man, stay away from my boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good on that boy. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't no. even want you to do that. Like, now I'm really gonna look at myself in the mirror like this nigga good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at yourself like I'm and, different. And, and you liked it, fool. Like, oh man, no, I, I, I ain't mean to say the uh, G word. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my show to get canceled. Yeah, guys. No, <laughs> everything yeah. is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, you soft. <laughs> you got your booyah. Like, it's different. <laughs> Uh, now we end everything with a drunk, a drunk moment or a high moment or both. One time you were drunk, high, funny story. You know what I'm saying that you can give it to people. Okay, uh, so drunk. It's kind of like not safe, but okay. it's just it happened in mm-hmm. life. I was at a. Uh, it was New Year's Eve. Okay. It was at Truth. Okay. And I had got into my dude, and I was supposed to be leaving with them. Mm. Uh, like trailing each other, hungers was all drunk. Yeah, what was y'all drinking though? We was drinking tequila. I only drink tequila okay. as an adult. Yeah. I'm thinking I mixed in some champagne. That's why I was as drunk yeah. as I was. Okay. So I'm on my way home. I'm driving, and I get to the exit light. I'm like five minutes away from my house. It's that, and uh, I fell asleep. Yeah. A nigga came up to my window and was knocking on it, and I opened my eyes and I looked at him. I was like, It was randomly. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, What? Yeah. He was like, You had the light. <laughs> I was like. Oh, oh, okay. And I took off, and I was just on my way home, like, bitch, you fucked up. Yeah, and they could have did whatever. They like that's facts. He could have killed your ass. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? But that was my drunk moment, my high moment. I was, um, I was at home. I think everybody might have a moment like this, but I was cooking noodles. Okay, okay, okay. I was cooking some noodles, and I left them. I cooked them bitches, and I left them, and they turned into like. <laughs> 
like nothing. Like Duh. mashed potatoes. How long you had? To, you was, so you was boiling them. I boiled them. I turned the water off and I just let them sit. Yeah, oh shit! With yeah. a top over them. Yeah. So that's why it, that shit was like, nasty. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I, I ate them. Oh hell no! You <laughs> that's tripping. all I had. I was like, oh, but I was high as fuck and I kept trying to figure out how can I make these bitches good. Yeah. I started adding all types <laughs> of shit: barbecue sauce, hot sauce, fucking um. Mad potato style ramen Oil. Noodles. I was doing all kind of shit. <laughs> you was high as hell. Yeah. yeah. I don't even smoke. See, I wasn't high. I was just, I was just tired, but I had put that shit. I had, cause we put ours in the microwave. Mm-hmm. So I put the noodles in the bowl, put it in the microwave, but forgot to put water in there. Ooh. So nigga, that shit just Burned on up. fire. So my, uh, my son, like the kitchen smoking. I'm like, boy, the kitchen ain't smoking. Shut your ass up. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh shit, it's smoking. It's smoking. That junk, the, the smoke was so bad. That junk was like stuck to my clothes for Damn. a month. I went to a grocery store. like, something on fire. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm looking dumb as hell. Like, all right, I'm like, get out of here. Yo, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Close my like, I ain't got one for my burn sale. Like, man, <laughs> that's funny as hell. But yeah. no, I appreciate you coming on. Oh, thank you for having it me. It was dope. I've been, you know what I'm saying? We tried to make this happen a while back and stuff, but we finally made yes, it happen. Yes, we did. You know what I'm saying? I'm, even though I messed up on the, you know, last week. You it's know what I'm saying? That's my fault. We I'll made it. Back. We here. It's a good Friday. For sure. For sure. About to be holiday weekend. Holiday weekend. You know what it's upon us. Get good barbecue. Smoke good, you know what I'm saying? Black and mild yes. tips. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you can resist it, don't do it. Drink some 1800. You know what I'm saying? Take, Ooh, it, back, take it back to 07. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you want to leave people with some, you know, good words? Yeah. Um. Listen, bro. Live your life. Live your life to the fullest. Uh, fuck who don't support you and love you the way you need and want to be loved and supported. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure y'all tap in with me on all my social media pages. Stay up to date with what I got going on. I got mad shows this summer. Um, I perform live with a band and my dancers going to be with me. Like we come in full fledged performance. So sure. y'all don't want to miss my shows. I always put everything on my social media pages. Follow me at Kenyatta Rashawn. That's K E N Y A T T A R A S H O N. I'm a vibe. I'm cool. We might we might fuck around and kick it in the future. You know what I'm saying? For sure, yeah. She cool people. Good people and shit, man. Good people. Like I said, we got the queen of Ipsy. The king of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Rashad. Rashad. Right. Rashad. Rashad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For y'all that don't know, that's my real name, Rashad. You know, Shadi. It's easy. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, episode 160. Voice of Detroit podcast MVP. King of Rashad. We out.